Hey, Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Bravely Second in Lair. So before we continue, I realized I did not look at the uh, boss entry for the boss that we just fought, which was Ball 1, um, White Dove, Turtle Dove, right. Um, a mad white bird wearing a bridal veil. It can use triangular, a move that strikes fear in any heart. Yeah, you have to fight the balls multiple times to get their full page. Diamante is the only exception to that, but I'm guessing uh, from the de from the design of the ball that it's supposed to represent somebody's heart who was broken, probably on their wedding day. Their groom ended up going for somebody else, which is why it has triangular and it has heartbreak and it has the love spell and all that. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the king and tell him that we dispatched the ball and uh, talk to Anya's too. Oh, and Altrin is here too. You're already here. Hello. Caldusla disappeared from our memories, only to appear again all of a sudden. Something is amiss here. Indeed, and the king has just shared with me an equally disturbing tale. Oh. Do tell. For those of us on the outside, it was as though Caldusla suddenly returned to our memories. But for the people of this land, it was the existence of the rest of the world which came back to them only now. Oh. That's weird. Hmm. A most curious state of affairs indeed. Yeah. I ask of you, Vestal of Wind. Uh, uh, beg pardon, your holiness. Yeah, she's upgraded her title. I would hear your counsel. Whatever should I and my kingdom do? What do you mean? Your Highness, I thank you for welcoming me back to Caldisla with such warmth. As for your question... I'm glad your arm's feeling better. My arm? Yes, it's fine. That's a load off. Seeing you run about all the time, sometimes I get worried. I'm simply doing my duty. I do not find it a burden. So come on, spill it! Did you find out anything about Yoko? I doubt it. Yoko? What are you... But what do you think, Idia? Huh? I think, uh... uh, uh sorry, what are we talking about? Hmm. Honestly, idiot, this is a serious meeting between world leaders. Oh, we were talking about something we were discussing else. How the balls might be appearing. I'm not sure about the fact that we don't remember who Yoko is. That's a little bit concerning. Never mind how they appear. We don't even know where they come from. That's a good point. That's true. And even if we did know, something is clearly different this time. There are just too many things we don't understand about these balls. I'm sorry. I should know more. Don't be so hard on yourself, Magnolia. It's not your fault. Our heroes, surely you must be exhausted after such a harrowing battle. Pray, stay the night and rest yourselves. Okay. So many rest points in this game. You have the fox, you have the save point guy, and then you have segments like this where they just randomly give you a rest. Deception. And I call myself a ball buster. What do I truly know about the balls? I never even thought to ask. Please, don't blame yourself, Magnolia. I'm no better. I knew nothing about the true Crystal Guard. Nothing about my own brother. You. Thank you. Oh, there must be someone out there who can give us a clue, right? Hopefully, does that mean we get a new character now? Do not now? judge a carrot by its leaves. Oh, hi, Altair. You're Altair. a man by his words alone. True value is rarely apparent on the surface you'll find. <laughs> it's a ghost! <laughs> My young friends, it would seem you have questions about the balls, and I may very well have answers. It is well, cum si cum sa. Would you start with the good news, or the bad? Oh, this never ends well. 
All right, give us the good news first. The good news is that, yes, I have finally uncovered the truth behind the balls. Okay. Oh, What's the bad news you then? Have? And what is it? I'm afraid that brings us to the bad news. I believe, no, I am convinced that the balls are the unresolved feelings of my dearest Vega given life. Okay, I suppose. C'est horrible. How can this be? Vega was your beloved, no? The one you left behind in the celestial realm? Hmm. The last ball we fought uh, did have heartbreak, so the same. I guess it makes sense. And the balls that threatened to destroy Luxendark. As much as I am loath to admit it, they were born of our shared memories. Your memories created the balls? How is that even possible? Since I haven't fought all of them, this doesn't really make sense. It is only a theory, but... I believe that Vega even now harbors feelings of deep yearning and remorse. And that someone, something, has seized upon these emotions, giving them physical form as weapons of mass destruction. Wow. What a monster! Manipulating someone's feelings for such a terrible purpose! You can say that again. So, uh, this means that the balls come from the Celestial Realm? That would be the only reasonable assumption. That settles it. Altair, let's go to the Celestial Realm and save Vega from this nightmare. How? Oh, a most kind offer you. And yet I fear it is not so simple. I, too, long to see my Vega again. So I searched and searched for a way to reach the Celestial Realm, to no avail. We'll just have to keep trying then. Never say never until you're dead. <laughs> wow. A sentiment I shared, my dear you. Which is why I kept trying, kept searching, until my death. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... A joke, my dear boy, a joke! <laughs> oh, that was a joke? So you have a very weird sense of humor? Up? He didn't say you that. You've carried on all these years in the hopes of seeing Vega again. Now you're just going to accept how things are? Oh, of course I do not accept it. How could I accept my beloved being used as an instrument of destruction? I want to help her with all my heart, I do, and yet... My, my friends, might I beseech your aid? But whoa, why so formal? Of course you can. Magnolia here is a ballbuster, after all. And even if I weren't, I would help. Anyone who'd use another's love for the purpose of evil deserves to get theirs. Right. You've been our friend from the start, Altair. We've been through so much together. We're not giving up on you now. Your friend? Oh, thank you, my dear children. As a matter of fact, I unearthed a new clue since coming to this place. A fairy named Anna. Right, we fought her earlier, right. right? It was as if Diamante was under her control. And she mentioned something about her master, didn't she? She did. I think we've seen enough to know that she's involved up to her eyeballs. <laughs> that our course of action is clear. I don't Search know why that line made you laugh. Friends, with all my heart, bon chance. Okay, so we have a new objective. Uh, find Anna's master. Okay, so we have to go to the cave. Thanks for that. Oh, there's actually a cinematic in the cave. Okay. Oh, there's Anna. I figured we'd be seeing her again. <laughs> so there was a path between Lux and Dark and the Celestial Realm right here. What a delightful surprise! I 
I've been having so much fun taking out the moon that I never even thought to look for one. But this changes everything. <laughs> How so? From a place like this, I can summon balls and balls galore. Those moonies can't do a thing for Lux and Dark if my balls come through here. They'll oh. be pumped and primed for battle. That's how that ball got through without being detected. And not only that, oh no. It might even be possible for my lord to descend upon Lux and Dark from here. The only fly in the ointment is you, Jenny Olja, and his stupid friends. Fly in the ointment. They've interfered with me That's every step of the way. Turn of phrase. Why, they've even recovered memories from alternate dimensions. It's basically cheating, you know. How are they doing it? <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? Is it that hourglass they have? No, that alone wouldn't explain it. It's well, our friendship is also a part of it too. Uh, what is their little secret? Of course, she can't figure it out. She has no friends. Nullifies the ghost state. Ooh, I can buy three more of these. Sure. Cool. Narinde Ravine. Ooh, party chat. A road oft traveled. How many times have I been down this road? As a kid, I was told never to come here alone. Here be monsters, everyone said, but we played here anyway. When the great chasm swallowed Norinde, they carried me to Carl's Inn in Caldislar. I woke up a week later and came racing down this road again. I just had to see it with my own eyes. But it was gone. Not a trace left. We met Anya's on, on the precipice and we hurtled back down this road together, chasing after that Internian airship. Each time that we crossed the boundaries into another world, we raced up and down this road again and again. Gritting our teeth tight against the pain, we re the regret we felt. And when the great chasm gave rise to the great aurora, we struck down this road one last time toward our final battle. How many more times will we walk down this road? As many times as we have to. Until we've wiped away those terrible memories once and for all. There you go. The next time we walk down this road, it'll be to visit the new Norinde village, the one you helped rebuild. I'll be there, too. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Count me in, too. We're all in this together. My friends. Yeah, that would be nice. All of us, together. It would be nice. Because if you didn't know, there is a cinematic on the title screen if you wait long enough that explains how they went to the Great Chasm and that Tiz fell, fell into his coma at that point. And I see that they're only the same enemies as always in here. Hey, Idia gained a job level for the pirate class and learned Skull Bash. You also gained a job level for the knight class and learned the supportability dual shields. Ooh, Tiz gained a job level too. For the wizard class and learned the supportability full charge. Okay, so it looks like this cave is just... Filled with cabals, but I did gain levels for you guys. So let's see, what do I want to change you to? Um, let's change you to. Hmm. Change you to the Hawkeye class. I feel like that's a good choice. Uh, change your abilities in a second. Um, let's change you over to the Thief class. Let's change you over to um, Summoner class. And finally for you, let's change you to uh, change you to the Knight class. Okay, and um, change abilities. Actually, everyone's abilities are fine now. I just need to change their equipment. Okay, great. 
And yeah, I do need to go heal. I'm gonna turn the encounter rate off and um, I'm gonna go heal. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go through this cave a little bit. So where's the first chest here? Probably down this way, yep. An axe potion, perfect. Which reminds me I do need to stock up on potions. Oh, there's a chest up there. So what's in this chest? This chest has a turbo ether. Nice. Okay, so there are no chests here now. Interesting. Did Anna loot the place as she went through here? Weird to have a dungeon that has almost no treasure in it. Yeah, there's no treasure in this screen either. What? Okay, well, I want to go ahead and save right here. And we'll continue in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. If you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.